Hello people, welcome everyone to part 5 of my Plasticity Beginner tutorial. For this particular one, we're going to go over how to build the fuselage. So let's start off right away by getting the wing done. Okay, so to begin with, let's switch over to the right view, hit the control B to open the outliner, and let's do a little bit of housekeeping here. So I'm going to select everything, hit Ctrl G and put them into a folder. And I'm going to call it right wing. It's important to keep your outliner neat and clean to keep things consistent. I'm not saying you have to rename everything, but at least put them into a folder and just give it a name. So now let's start off by creating this little piece on the tip of the wing so that we can start off with a fuselage. Let's grab the line tool and just make it a little bit bigger than it is in the sketch because my wing is a little bit bigger. Let's go to the top view so we can see where this guy is supposed to be placed, right there. So now hit 3 to go to face mode, select the face and click and drag the yellow handle to extrude it just, just a tiny bit, like that. So now select the loop and give it a little bit of nice fillet. I guess we can combine them with the boolean tool now. So select the wing, hit Q. Select this one, hit Q again to join them. And let's see if we can bevel this guy here. Oh, let's grab this. Yeah. Yeah, perfect. So let me hide my wing for now. And uh, what we're gonna need is my side view. Uh, which is this one, that's my side view. And I'm gonna start defining the straight parts. This one, the top and the bottom. So I'm gonna need my line tool. And I'm gonna put this line exactly where the curvature of the fuselage starts. Right here and here. Just to show you where I'm going to put my points in order not to get a bumpy surface. This is where you wanna pay attention to your splines. Just one point badly positioned is enough to make your fuselage look awful. And remember, the fewer points you add to your spline, the straighter and smoother the splines will be. So I want to stop the line right here and then I'm going to create a straight segment for the top. You don't want to put any point in the middle of this line. Just create a simple straight line. That's how you get a perfect fuselage. And then go ahead and create the tail. So let's work on this little line here. I'm going to create like three points there to give it a nice curvature. And now select them all and hit J on the keyboard to combine them. Next I'm going to rebuild the curve and set it to points and give it like 25 or 27 points. Okay, now make adjustments if it's needed. Mm -hmm. 
don't move the points at the top. see the curve is a little bit wobbly here so we just spend a little bit of time uh, moving those points to get a nicer curve so I'm going to create a simple straight line here to separate the nose from the rest of the plane and so I also know where to start creating my next line Okay, likewise, let's join all the curves together and let's go to perspective view. And okay, so now we have the bottom and the top. I'm going to duplicate this line and rotate it by 90 degrees so that I can see this reference from the top view. Okay, and now let's create the right side of the fuselage. I'm going to snap the first point here. Okay, let's go ahead and I'm going to select both curves and hit J on the keyboard to combine them and then you can rebuild the curve and set it to points. What that does, uh, it distributes all the points evenly along the curve. I think I should rebuild this curve as well. There we go. What I can do now, I can mirror the right side of the fuselage to the left side. Now we can delete the cross. And so we can start creating the nose. So to do that, I'm going to use the spline tool and I'm going to simply connect those four points. As you can see, the tip of the plane is not spherical, it's not a circle, but rather it's an oval. But honestly, I don't think the sketch reflects what an Airbus is in their reality. If you take a look at this picture, the nose of the plane is more of a circle, right? It doesn't look like an oval. So for this reason, I'm going to hit Shift S and subdivide my curve a few times, and then I'm going to make adjustments. Okay, so grab the spline tool and in the perspective you just place the first point right here on this point. So you want to make sure to snap on the right place, then switch over to the right view and just define the nose of the Airbus. If you move any vertex, make sure to reconnect it by holding down control and drag it to the right place till the point turns blue. That will ensure a proper intersection between the curves. So the next step I'm gonna take, I'm going to create two segments, one here and one on the opposite side, then I'm going to select both and hit Shift S to subdivide them so to get at least two control points to work with. Then switch over to top view and just move them in place.
So one more thing we need to do, we need to um, split this curve in the middle. So let's grab the um, split curve tool and just click right there. So that we'll be able to unjoin this curve. And we can now select them in a circle clockwise. Just like that, hit L. And then hold down the shift key and select the guide. And there we go. I cannot loft the fuselage and we still have something to do in the right view. As you can see, this is a straight line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull those points up. You can select them all just like that. Then hit W on the keyboard and pull them up just a little bit. Then deselect the last point and do the same. And just go on like this till you get to the last point. Next, select these three points, hit S and scale them to zero along the Y axis. So let's give it a try and see if it works. It does work, but we still to we still need to define the shape of it. We need to create some cross section along the fuselage. Even if you pick this guide here, the shape is not what I would expect. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go to the front view and create a simple straight line in the middle of the plane just like this and then duplicate this line and rotate it by 90 degrees to create sort of a cross just like that and then hold down control and grab the white circle and just snap it on the on this line here just like that that will come really in handy to create the cross sections as you now have a four like four intersection points as opposed to just eyeballing them resulting in very wobbly cross sections like this so you don't want to do that just grab your spline tool and snap your points there where it says intersection Just take a look at it now. So now by duplicating it, I can move it back and forth to create all the cross section that I need.
there we go. That's all there's to it. You just need to pick the splines, hit L, and then hold down the shift key and pick all the cross section, one at a time. Okay, and we still need to create the nose. Let's hold down the shift key and select this, this and this, hit L, and then pick the guide. There we go. So let's quickly check the surface continuity. Yeah, that's good. So let's have a look at the outliner here. I'm going to select them all and hit Ctrl G to group them into a folder and I'm gonna call it a Curves Fuselage. And in this case, we might want to perform a delete redundant topology command to remove all the unconnected points and components. That's it for today's video. I'll catch you all in the next one.